Queen Elizabeth II, who ruled Britain for the longest time, passes away at age 96. She ruled for 70 years. According to centuries-old procedure, her 73-year-old oldest son, Charles, has ascended to the throne. The royal family has assembled at her Balmoral home in the Scottish Highlands, where she spent her final days, including King Charles, grandchildren William and Harry, and their families. Grand celebrations were held in June to honor the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and her 70 years of service to the country. Queen Elizabeth surpassed her great-great-grandmother Queen Victoria in 2015 to become the British Queen with the longest reign. She now holds the record for the second-longest reigning monarch in history. The Queen thanked the country in a letter, expressing her gratitude for being humbled and sincerely affected as the UK marked her Platinum Jubilee milestone with royal parades, street celebrations, and pomp. There is no manual to follow when it comes to how to honor 70 years as your Queen. It really is a first, she wrote. Due to health issues, the Queen was unable to attend several of the ceremonies, but Prince Charles and Prince William, the next in line, did. At the conclusion of the Jubilee pageant, she did make an appearance on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. She was the only monarch that the majority of her subjects had ever known, and she is revered in popular culture and depicted on coins, banknotes, and stamps. She saw some of the largest royal scandals, including the divorce of Charles and Diana, the potential ties between her second son, Prince Andrew, and the convicted child molester Jeffrey Epstein, as well as Harry and Meghan's decision to leave the royal family. Aside from the killing of US President John F. Kennedy, she also witnessed the moon landing, the fall of the Berlin Wall, the COVID pandemic, and other significant historical events. During her tenure, she witnessed 14 British prime ministers, from Winston Churchill to Liz Truss. She made history by placing Liz Truss in Balmoral, Scotland, as she was unable to travel back to London due to her illness. Prince Philip, who had been her husband for 73 years, passed away in April 2021, a few weeks before turning 100. The world was affected by the picture of the Queen attending his funeral alone in the choir of St. George's Chapel according to COVID protocol.